sweet friends, welcome back. Today is a beautiful day. As you see, the sun is shining. There's no snow flurries in our forecast. However, you might see a little bit of snow scattered on our rooftops. Our weather here in West Virginia can be a little bit crazy here in March, so you have to let me know what's your weather like right now? But I thought today would be a great day to continue my decorating series for spring. And I thought we would start over here in our kitchen at our coffee bar. Now, if you are new, my name is Amy and welcome to Simply Our Home. Here on my channel, I love to share with you all things home and decor especially. It's my true passion. So I share with you decorating series, which we're currently in my spring decorating series. I've already did my master bedroom makeover. So if you happen to miss that, I can link it here at the end so you can catch up. I also share with you lots of decor shop with me's and hauls. So if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, I hope you would consider subscribing. Well, friends, if you're excited to continue the spring decorating series, go ahead, give me a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get right into today's decorating. I hope you enjoy. So here is our coffee bar area. I'm super lucky to have the space to dedicate a small little corner here in our kitchen. Here is the cabinet. I've had this for a few years and we're still really enjoying it. It is from Wayfair and it has these two little drawers which we store all of our coffee pods in, which is super convenient. Here we have our Keurig Supreme Plus coffee maker. As we come up here, I have a mug rack that is from Hobby Lobby. And then I have a super handy hubby that was kind enough to make these really pretty floating shelves for me. So I won't be able to link those. So throughout today's video, I'll be also descaling our coffee pot. So if you haven't did yours in a long time, maybe we can descale our coffee pots together. So first thing I'm gonna do is just grab this reservoir and throw away my filter and then get a new filter placed in a cup of water to let that set for five to 10 minutes. And then we'll begin the descaling process. Today, I think I'll start from the bottom and work my way up. And so one of my favorite cleaners is the seventh generation wood cleaner. I'm gonna grab that and then just clean down the slats and then we'll go ahead and place some decor. You're gonna see, I'm not going to be changing it too much from my winter decorating, but I think why recreate the wheel when it worked? The biggest obstacle I have when decorating down here on our coffee bar is the outlet and the cord. <laughs> so last time I placed this melamine marble looking tray that is from the Better Homes and Gardens line at Walmart and I really love that back here. So I'm gonna continue to use that. I love it back here because also it is white and so anything that I place in front of it that is dark is gonna really pop and really show up in front of it. Next, I'm coming back in with this wire basket. Again, I love the color of it because it kind of brings your eye downward from the coffee pot that is black. And adding greenery to it just gives it that spring touch. Now, this moss ball here was from Hobby Lobby and these two were from At Home. And then this I got from At Home. So I'm just gonna place that in front and it also keeps the tray from like sliding forward and sliding around back here. One tip that I continue to share with you is to make sure and step back, look at your vignettes. And if it's missing something, pop in a piece of greenery, a moss ball, something that is from nature and you're gonna see a huge difference. Also use items in different colors and contrasting colors. This white against the really dark wire of this really looks interesting and draws your eye. All right, and next, instead of bringing back the brown baskets that I had here last time, I'm just switching them out for a lighter box. This one I think is gorgeous. 
It's a little bit lighter in texture, which I think screams more spring and summer. And I love just that little handle with the little beads. I think that is adorable, making it really easy to get inside so I can put other coffee necessities in here. And so I'm gonna place that here on the bottom. And this is from Hobby Lobby. I did go ahead and purchase the matching smaller version. And just like I did in the winter, I'm going to fill this with our favorite Easter candies. And so I'm gonna go ahead, place them inside of here and then get that placed on the bottom and then I'll call the bottom of the shelf complete. To the mug rack, I'm adding these gorgeous, adorable little coffee mugs. They were from TJ Maxx. And if you happen to miss my last haul from TJ Maxx, I'll go ahead and have that linked up here so you can go check that out. To balance out the cabinet on this side, I'm bringing in this adorable lamp. Now, it came from Amazon and I had it over on our countertop. So I'm doing just a little switch a roux with the lamps here on the coffee bar. Now I'm bringing in this beautiful planter from the Better Homes and Gardens line. And then I absolutely love these real feel tulips that are from Amazon. And I already went ahead and bent them up. And so I'm just gonna place them here inside. And again, I love the look of white tulips. And with the dark cutting board, it just really makes them pop. So the first thing that I'm coming in with are these mixing bowls from TJ Maxx. Again, I love, I told you this in my shop with me, that ribbed effect. And I also love that they have the cute little spout. And I am using the packaging inside to elevate this one, just so that you are able to see it and it doesn't get lost. And I think I'll just place that right here. And then we'll just begin building and see how this all turns out. So I went and I grabbed this vase because I think it really coordinates well with the mixing bowls. And so I think I'll place that up here on the top shelf to just bring it to the opposite side and also crisscross that color. And then to it, I will be adding these cute little florals. Both of these were from Hobby Lobby. This was in their floral planter section. So it was super cheap. It was regularly $13.99, but you can get that for 50% off, as well as their spring shop decor items. And so this was a floral in their spring shop. And so I got two of these for $8.99 because they were 50% off. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut them, put them inside and see how that looks.
think this beautiful piece from Hobby Lobby, it's a wall art piece that says happy here. And so definitely I'm always happy here at our coffee bar. So I think I'll put it right here beside the mixing bowls. Okay, so now that we have a dark frame, I wanna pull that color up and draw your eye upwards and add that same color up here. Next, to further bring in that cream color, I'm coming in with two of these glasses that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just love this little basket holder that goes around the glass. And so I think placing two of these up here really gives it a spring feel. So next I'm coming in with some greenery and this was from Threshold, it was $25. And it also pulls and ties in with the cutting board with the white base. Since we are approaching Easter, I do want to bring in this beautiful cross from Walmart. If you happen to miss my shop and haul, from Walmart. I'll go ahead and link it up here in a card as well. And last but not least, I'm bringing in this adorable little watering can that I found at Target back in their outdoor section. I love the shape of the handle as well as the spout. So I think that is all for the top. And now we can move down here to work on the shelf. So I think I'm coming in with my Pearl Essence by Lenox China. Uh, this is the dinner plate and then a stack of salad plates. Not only does this bring down the cream color, but it also copies that circular look of the cutting board. Now to fill in the space, I'm coming in with these cute little bowls. These were from TJ Maxx and they also pull down and crisscross the white color from the planter up above. And then I found these cute little scoops in a pack of three from the Target Dollar Spot. I'm just gonna place them in here for just a little wooden accent. Now to further tie in that copper little watering can, I thought this little bunny would work perfectly. This from Hobby Lobby. And then to also tie in that greenery, I'm gonna bring it down with this cute little wreath. And I think it was in the Target Dollar Spot a couple years back. All right, so to further fill in that bare area, I'm bringing in this nest with some green moss. It brings in a little touch of darker brown. And then in front of it, I'm gonna place this cute little bird from Hobby Lobby and it kind of just brings the picture bird out in front. So I think that is a really cute little accent piece. So that is how the floating shelves look in the kitchen. I absolutely think they look adorable. I do want to do one small tweak with the cross. I have another cross from Hobby Lobby. I just want to switch it out see what that looks like and you'll have to let me know which one you think is the better cross for that area. As we come down here, I just love the mugs. I think it brings in the perfect Easter and spring touch and I just can't wait to come here every morning to get my morning coffee and be surrounded by all these spring touches. All right, sweet friends. Well, that wraps up my second video in my spring decorating series here in our kitchen over at our coffee bar. I hope that you enjoyed it and maybe got some ideas for styling some open shelves somewhere in your home or even adding some of these touches to your coffee bar area. Well, before we go, I love to share with you a daily Bible verse. Today, we'll be reading from Psalm 62, verse five, through eight. Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in Him at all times, O people. Pour out your hearts to Him. 
for God is our refuge. And amen to that, he truly is. Well, friends, thanks again for joining me. I hope that you did enjoy today's video. If you did, go ahead, give me a big thumbs up. And if you like what you've seen today and haven't already, I hope you would consider subscribing. Well, I will see you real soon in my next one for more spring decorating. Enjoy your day. Take care and God bless. Bye friends.